twice the blessing, twice the fun. Two miracles instead of one. Twins are indeed a blessing, but they often get mothers worried. And one of the main reasons for this worry is uncertainty around breastfeeding. Mothers begin to wonder whether my breast milk will be enough for both of them. And due to this concern, they make the common mistake of supplementing their breast milk with formula milk. So as a first step, remove this doubt from your mind. Yes, your breast milk will be enough for them. The mother's body is well prepared for the birth of twins and you will be gifted with an adequate supply. Remember, the production of breast milk works on the principle of supply and demand. Your body will produce the amount desired by your babies. So do not worry and stay confident about breastfeeding your twins. Should I feed my twins separately or simultaneously? Sounds familiar. This is a common question in the mind of most mothers with twins. Well, it's a matter of personal preference and both the options are completely fine. There is no right or wrong here. Some mothers prefer feeding separately as they find it easier and are able to give full attention to one baby while others prefer simultaneous feeding as that allows them some time off between feeds. It's completely up to the mother to decide which of the two options she finds convenient and comfortable. However, in spite of the option you choose, you will initially require support from other family members till the time you learn to breastfeed both the babies. One key point to keep in mind is when one baby is already suckling at your breast and the other begins to demand for feeds, then do not remove the first one from the breast. Instead, allow the other baby to simultaneously suckle on the other breast. There are a few different breastfeeding positions that mothers can use to feed twins. Firstly, and the most commonly used, is known as the double football hold. The double football hold, also known as the double clutch hold, is a great breastfeeding position for twins. This position allows the mother to feed both the babies together at the same time and still keep the hands relatively free. You can place a pillow under your babies and use your hands to gently support them on their upper backs. In this position, the baby's heads are held in the front of the mother's chest and their bodies extend backwards. The mother's hand supports the baby's heads and her forearms support their backs. Depending on the baby's size, their legs may fall under or outside the mother's arms. The football hold works specially well with infants as it provides support to the baby's wobbly heads. It's also a recommended position for mothers who deliver via a C-section as it positions the bulk of the baby's weight away from the incision side while it's still tender and healing. The second and another useful position is known as the double cradle or the cross cradle hold. This position is a combination of a football hold and a cradle hold. The babies lie across the mother with their bodies and feet pointing to the side in the same direction. The mother's hands and arms Cradle the baby's head and upper back. One baby's legs extend under mother's arm as in the football hold. 
and the other baby's body will rest on the mother's forearms as in the cross cradle old the third and at another effective position is known as the criss cross or front v fold in this position the baby's heads rest on the mother's forearms while her hands cradle their bodies from underneath the bodies cross on the mother's lap with legs pointing in opposite directions finally the saddle or parallel hold in this position the babies are held upright facing the mother's chest this is a good feeding position for older babies who are capable of sitting up on their own all these are different options that mothers can use to feed their twins you can choose the one that you find comfortable and convenient the thumb rule for feeding twins is one breast for one baby all other rules of breastfeeding stay the same as for a single baby so enjoy the blessing of having twins and give them the gift of breastfeeding